get my life together. One way I think will improve that situation is meal prepping. So I have a list of things that I wanted to prep with you. Mornings can be chaotic. Some of these things are for breakfast. Some of these things are for my kids' lunches. Some of them are just, well, frankly, delicious. So we are going to make them and then hopefully it will create a smooth transition for the week ahead. So I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Okay, where should we start? So I guess let me just share with you what is on the meal plan for today. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I rewrote this because that is what the original looked like and I just thought no one's gonna be able to read that. <laughs> you probably still can't read this chicken scratch either. Okay, so for today, we plan to make, it's an extensive list, so we'll see if we get to it all. Energy balls, old fashioned sour cream donut muffins. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yes, please. Cinnamon rolls, to be honest, I think we might not get to that, but it is on my list, so eventually we will get to it. Boiled eggs, that's nice and simple. Chocolate chip cookies, oh, the best. Only the best for you people. Egg cups, which is basically, well, exactly what it sounds like, egg cups. And then possibly some roasted veggies, just for like lunches and stuff for me at the house. So we will see what we get to today. Alex is taking Meredith on a walk, so I have some uninterrupted time to bake with you, cook with you, what have you. And also, you guys, um, you probably saw, maybe you saw, I went to Home Goods, I did a shop with me, and I got this apron. Oh, well, I can't hold it off much longer, so this is, we're gonna pop this guy on. Did you get my eyebrows? You know what, I've never been an apron girl, but I kind of feel like it, Makes me look like I have my life together. Do we tie this up front? I don't know the rules of aprons. Look better up front? <laughs> Not really. You know, I used to work at an Italian restaurant and we used to have to wear aprons like this. I definitely didn't feel like I had my life together then, so I don't know why it's making me feel a certain type of way. All right, that looks good. This apron is special because it says Hocus Pocus on it. If Hooked on Phonics did not work for you. Hair is up, apron is on. Where do we start? Maybe the Instant Pot. I'm gonna boil my eggs in, in the Instant Pot. You know, despite all of my failed attempts in the past, because I gotta tell you, every time I make eggs in this thing, they just don't turn out. I know the 555 method. I've read all about it. I've watched multiple videos. You know what I think happens? I don't have ice. I heard that you could do a ton in here too. Uh, we're probably not gonna do as many as I normally would because I'm also making the egg cups. Oh crap, I need my trivet. Found it, it's in the last place I looked. I'm just gonna stack the eggs in here. How many should we do? I feel like 12 is not enough. So I guess we'll just do 13 in there. <laughs> Does it have to be a single layer? I don't think so. You know what, let's do 14 for fun. Maybe 15, why not? Well, do we want deviled eggs or maybe egg salad? You know what, we'll just add the rest of the carton because I don't wanna leave one little egg in there. You need a cup of water. Looks like I have the rest of my drinking water. Looks to be about a cup, perfect. And now all of a sudden you're realizing why my eggs never come out. <laughs> Follow the instructions, Kim. Okay, pressure cook. Five. I'm still not completely sold on the Instant Pot. All right, we're rolling right along, what's next? Well, I guess we can do something, well, should we start with the sour cream donuts or start with something healthy to maybe motivate us to eat a little better today? Ooh. Egg cups, old sour donuts. I'm truly stumped, I don't know. I guess let's just go with the egg cups because <sighs> veggies. Okay, we've got some peppers, cheese, ham. Oh man, I didn't bring out the bacon. I guess since I have ham, we don't have to do bacon. Ooh. Okay, see, I thought I had my life together, but now I, I didn't plan anything. I just wrote a list down, you know what I mean? And I'm working with the food that I already have. I didn't do like a special grocery trip for this kind of stuff. Oh, oh spinach, we got some spinach we need to use up. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. I don't wanna overload the cup, so we'll just do like peppers, onions, ham, and spinach. Plus, if we had bacon, we would have to cook it and all that stuff, and I'm just not here for that today. Just wanna get this done and move on with my life. Oh, should we do mini ones? That would be cute. All right, well, this didn't get washed. Okay, we'll let that dry while we get our mise en place prepared. You know what, this is one of my favorite breakfasts in the morning, the pepper, like veggies, and an egg. 
I guess you can call it like an egg scramble. You can call it that because that's basically what it's called. It's always good to start your day off with some veggies and sometimes that's hard in the morning. Like when you're getting, well for me, I'm getting four kids up and ready in the morning. The very last thing I want to do is cook them a hot meal. But if I have these ready to go, I can pop them in the microwave and they're hot in 30 seconds. Also, I don't know about you, but I can feed all my kids but then I myself don't eat breakfast until like 1 p.m. Not really, I mean, let's be honest, I can't hold off that long, but you get my exaggeration. Okay, I gave these guys a nice little rinse, nice bath, if you will, and now I'm just gonna chop them up. A pro tip here, if you chop them up as small as you possibly can, your kids may not be able to pick them out. Tell them I'm back on my game. If you saw my latest uh, grocery haul and like food prep video, you know that the last time I cooked onions, I have used all of those since. Um, but they were room temperature and I was crying you guys. My eyes were watering like crazy. And thankfully these have been in my refrigerator so they're chilled and chilled onions do not make you cry. And also I think it has something to do with leaving the root on there as well when you cut it, leaving the little like one end available. We hang out. Okay, I'm not entirely sure the rules of egg bites or whatever it is I'm making. Egg cups, is that what they're called? I didn't look it up. I just saw a picture and thought, hey, I can do that. Which is, ac ooh, which is accurate. I can. But I'm also a mess in the kitchen, so a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm just going to let these veggies cook down a little bit and we'll work on the eggs. If there were ever a moment that I did not need the big Bertha bowl, it would probably be right now. But I have it and I love it, so I'm gonna use it, even if I am just cracking a dozen eggs or so. I don't even know how many eggs I'm gonna crack. I mean, that's a decent amount of veggies. Maybe 15 eggs? How many are in here? 24. 15 sounds good. You guys know I must love it because I went all the way to my garage to get it and I washed it and dried it off. So if that doesn't say something, I don't know what will. We're also gonna double crack because we have to get things rolling along. Cross our fingers for no shells. Ooh. How are your one-handed cracking skills coming along? That's not a real thing. It should be. It should be in the Guinness Book of World Records. Like how many continuous eggs can you crack? I don't know, like in a minute or something? Without getting shells in, that's the kicker. I'm not counting. I will tell you, becoming a mom uh, made me into a one-handed crack an egg fool. Uh, there's 14, because if there is one thing no one told me about becoming a mom, it was that you need to learn how to do a lot of stuff with one hand while you're holding a baby. <laughs> Grab a whisk. It's the little things like that that no one really talks about, you know? Oh, by the way, you're gonna wake up randomly at three o'clock in the morning and just start worrying. Oh, by the way, you're never gonna have five minutes to yourself ever again. Oh, by the way, you shouldn't even put a door on your bathroom. Oh, by the way, you're gonna have to remind your tiny children not to put shoes in their mouth. I'm gonna add some milk, and by milk I mean half and half because I got it from Costco and I don't really have any recipe for it, so I think it's just gonna fluff the eggs up a little bit. If you are a parent, what is one thing that you, that no one ever told you about being a parent? Oh my gosh, I set the oven on the first try. I think it has fixed itself. Oh crap, the timer went off, I have two more minutes. Let it sit, that's the second five. Five, five, five method means five minutes high pressure, five minutes natural release, and then five minutes in an ice bath, or in my case, a water bath, or what normal people call a bath, but no soap. 
All right, let me cut some of this ham up. And I have to remind myself to cut it into really small pieces. Last time I cut ham, I made soup with you. I think that um, is in a recipe video that should be up soon. But last time the chunks were so large. But my family loves ham. I mean, why wouldn't they? It's like the sister of bacon. You could take the easy route and if you are planning out your meals, maybe buy pre-cut or like pre-cubed ham. Again, I didn't plan any of this. I just thought, oh my gosh, the mornings are exhausting and I need to fix that problem. I need to find a solution. So this is my solution. And also I'm hungry. Okay, just hit five minutes. Undo the seal. I'm just gonna throw the ham in the eggs. This is a lot of ham. Should I add it all? Let's see. We can leave a little out to snack on. I should have saved this bowl to dump the eggs in. I don't know if I have a big enough bowl. Found Big Bertha's sister, Claudia. Oh, that's hot. I have ice packs. Would that work? Well, I only have one. I'll throw it in. It's good enough. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the eggs out and let them sit in here for maybe like seven minutes since it's not, oh, one of them cracked. Not like it matters. Well, do you, yeah, we peel them, right? Yeah. That's the whole allure of eggs in the Instant Pot is that they're so easy to peel as all the other influencers talk about. I haven't really had that epiphany with the Instant Pot yet, but maybe this will be my time. Oh yeah, they're definitely done. This one popped right open. Okay, we set the eggs aside and I'm just gonna add all of the veggies to the eggs. Is that a smart idea? Yeah, sure, why not? Just so everything gets evenly distributed. Oh, and last thing we have to cut. This is already pre-cut, I think. Yes, it is. Ooh, ugh, spinach, spinach smells so weird. Well, is that enough spinach? Oh, you see this? It's looking beautiful. Let me pull you in, pull you close to Tony Danza. Look how beautiful this looks. That might be enough spinach. Although I really love spinach. My kids love it too. You know what? That's looking pretty good. Let's add some salt and pepper and get these things into the muffin pan. We've got our salt and pepper. You could add any spices to this that you like. Uh, oh, I suggest half of a seeded, that's the important note here, seeded jalapeno. One time I added a full jalapeno with seeds and it was a big mistake. It was so, so spicy. Okay, let's get this into the pan, the muffin tin. Come back and say I'm sorry, boo. And I know you never mean it gets you in. You had to Cause you know I throw your suitcase out the window I don't need you here to feel good No, I'm not angry I got better things to do Tell your friends I will be just fine Don't need no therapist There's nothing like, nothing like wine well, look how beautiful that looks. If the two empty ones are driving you crazy, you're definitely not alone. I'm gonna throw these in the oven 350 until they're done. I don't know, 20 minutes. Look at us moving right along. So uh, now that we made something decently healthy, let's move on to, I've shared my amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe with you before. The secret ingredient, spoiler alert, is instant pudding. I only have one package. It's a travesty. I know. I always usually, always usually double the batch and then freeze. I'm not, I don't plan on making the cookies. I just want to make the cookie dough and freeze it. I don't know if I explained that part because, well, mostly because midday when the kids get home and I'm like, oh my God, kids. I normally resort to the garage and grab a handful of cookie dough balls and shove my face with them. Another thing they didn't tell me about parenthood you're gonna sneak treats. And my parents, oh my gosh, always had the adult butter. So funny. Okay, anyway, uh, I thought we would make the sour cream donut muffins. All right, that sounds good. But first, I guess, ooh, this water is warm. I guess we can crack these just to get it out of the way and say that we have two things done. I have these reusable uh, bags that I love. I love them so much. Oh my gosh, what's happening outside? Here's the moment of truth. Cracking these eggs, everyone says, is pure magic. I'm here to spew the truth. I don't, mine still gets stuck. Mine is stuck, I don't know. I mean, it comes off, but it's not like the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just like peeling an egg. Oh, roll it, I see some people do that. 
I don't know, it's, it's still, I mean, it's an egg that you have to peel. Okay, so we have finished. It was touch and go there for a while. Ice is still in there, our ice pack. Uh, so some of them look a little sad, if you can tell, but most of them look pretty decent. And I'm pretty happy about having all of these ready to eat. All right, I got the baby down. I tidied up a little bit. And you know what I was thinking? Good thing I did not cook all of the eggs because we still have to make these donuts and the, what else needs eggs? Cookies. Get really loud. Oh, the long guy's here. Oh, do you see him cutting down your star tree? He's whacking down my star fruit oh, tree. I can feel it. He's got the weed whacker. Oh, the star fruit tree is growing amongst the weeds, and you can't tell. The layman will not be able to tell the difference. Tell him what happened when we hired the, the, the kid to come over to yard and just cut the road. Oh, my gosh. We were hiring one of our neighbor's kids to help us with yard work. Anyway, so we say, oh, go mulch that area and weed that area. He weeds our rose bush. We were like, that's our rose bush. <laughs> it was a sad looking rose bush, but it, it was blooming nonetheless. I was like, that's not a weed. <laughs> oh, I bet you he whacked it down. I don't know what I need. I'm just getting down the basics. That's not even the recipe. Oh, by the way, so I found this recipe on Pinterest for, because I went on a whole spiel, I don't remember when, about old-fashioned sour cream donuts. I think it was Thanksgiving, a Thanksgiving cook with me. It was Eleanor's birthday. It was a big day. Anyway, it, there was a big debacle about sour cream. There was a long story about it. it. It's just moving along, you know what I mean? But I found a pin on Pinterest, but it turns out you click on the picture and it just brings you to a picture. So it took me an actually long time to actually find a pin that brought me to a recipe. Uh, okay, sour cream, obviously we need that. And if you have never had a sour cream donut, I suggest that you go to Dunkin' Donuts immediately, immediately, and buy and eat a sour cream donut. And you know what, get two. Just do it, just do it and live. You get three, say one for tomorrow morning. They're just as good. I don't know why no one ever talks about how delicious sour cream donuts are. No one. I didn't find out about them until way later in my life. I didn't even know the name of them until last year. And now I'm obsessed. Okay, we're getting off topic. Baking powder. Oh, you know what I was going to make? I thought, well, let's make a healthy recipe together. Let's do like maybe fall inspired cinnamon apple muffins, sugar free. Forget it. I don't care about that. I just wanted some old fashioned sour cream muffins. I don't even know if these are going to taste like the donut, but good enough. Vanilla. We need some butter. Eggs. Oh my gosh, that's it. And then the glaze, but we'll make that later. So I imagine, the, oh, I should check on the eggs. Speaking of, ooh, those look good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's get a close-up, Tony Danza. Home it closer, Tony Danza. Oh my gosh, is this the most beautiful thing that you've seen all day or what? We should probably get these nice and cooled on a wire rack or something. Uh, that's just beautiful. It's beautiful, are these done all the way? Oh heck yes they are. The spinach looks amazing, the veggies look amazing, the eggs look amazing, the ham looks amazing. <laughs> okay, everything looks amazing, let's go. I only have one oven mitt. Every time I'm at Home Goods, I think, oh yeah, I should buy another oven mitt, but I never do. So I'm just gonna burn, <laughs> burn this hand and flip it over. <laughs> 
All right, let's see if these come out. I sprayed it with some coconut oil. So that's gonna make the eggs taste really good. Well, I heard a little slosh, so. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, uh, you tell me how it looks. Oh, pretty good, pretty decent. All right, we're not. I'm just gonna pull the rest out with, ooh, goo, they're hot. I'm just gonna pull the rest out with my, um, my hands with a fork. I should have chef hands by now, right? Can, can't stand the heat. Come on, Julia Child, help me out. All right, just take the back side of the knife and run it around. Okay, well that was almost as time consuming as actually making these, so. Bottoms up. Here they are all finished. Well, this isn't magazine worthy. I don't know what is. Anyway, what I was thinking of, this is a really good freezer meal option as well. You can throw, pop these in the freezer if you don't have six mouths to feed every morning because this will probably feed us maybe one and a half mornings. I'm just gonna do a little taste test. Mm, it's marvelous, marvelous. Wouldn't change a thing. Although if I had to change a thing, I would 86 the ham, add some bacon or sausage, I think. Oh, sausage, probably because it gives it so much flavor and a bacon would add like a smoky flavor to it. Oh my God, I love bacon. All right, what do we do here? Preheat the oven at 400, Lord. All right, I can't press zeros on my oven, so it's at 411 degrees. <laughs> Ooh. All right, you add two and a quarter cups of flour and then you make a, well, you don't make a well. What do you do next? And a quarter. Oh, now he's at the front of the house. Can you hear him? Salt. Oh my gosh, I haven't even opened this baking powder. What a treat. Oh gosh, I didn't get it. Two and a half teaspoons. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Well, I don't have a quarter teaspoon measure. I'm sure I do, I don't wanna look for it, so there's that. Maybe a little more. Perfect. Okay, three quarters cup of granulated sugar, and then you make a well. Oh, we whisk it together. I need a whisk. I want my Fancy dough whisk never lets me down. Oh, you know what? We have to melt a half a cup of butter. Didn't I take butter out? I know I took it out. Where'd I put it? Oh no, did I put it out? There, there it is, it's hiding. Okay, so once this is nicely whisked, I'm sure you can sift it. Just get it aerated and make sure everything is nice and friendly with each other. You know what? I love making wells. Do you know why? Makes me feel like a real baker. Makes me feel like I know what I'm doing even if both of those things are a lie. Okay, this, 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 right here. This is exactly why I don't measure. I thought, you know what, I should just dump the rest of this in. It looks like half a cup. Guess what, guys? It is, well, not, not half a cup. It looks like a cup, because that's what I need. You need a cup of sour cream. You know what? They should make that a Food Network challenge show. Guess this measurement. So, one, ooh, one tablespoon vanilla extract. That is a little, Crazy. And then half a cup of butter. Slightly cooled, but you guys know I can't wait. Who has time for that? So I'm just gonna shove that right on there. And you mix, oh, do we mix it with the whisk or our hands? What's happening? Oh, fold together with a spatula. Oh my God, well this was pretty easy to whip up. But now, I mean, the real question is, are they as delicious as driving up to Dunkin' Donuts and getting an old fashioned sour cream donut? Because I gotta tell you, there is a Dunkin' Donuts at the end of my road. It's not a far drive. I have to talk myself out of stopping there almost every morning. <laughs> okay, now that we have this all mixed. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, oh my, I even read the recipe. I read it and I, well, I thought I read it. Did I not read it? It says, in a small mixing bowl with whisk the eggs. Oh, whisk the eggs? I forgot the eggs. Why, why? Why can't I get one recipe right? I gotta add the eggs. Oh man, how many? Two. You know what, I thought things were going well. They were, they were until now. Whisk the eggs until blended. Add the sour cream, melted butter, and vanilla to the egg mixture, then you combine it. I just got so excited, it talked about making a well in the center, and I just assumed you add the rest of the ingredients into the well. Well, look what happens when you assume things. This, this is what happens when you make assumptions. <laughs> We're gonna make it work. We are going to make it work. Okay, now that looks like a batter. 
Whew, after all of that. Oh, I have to wash the muffin tin. Guess who woke up from her nap two hours early? <laughs> Did you have a good nap? No? Okay, good. Well, you know what I realized? I have a muffin tin that is good for 12. But I've already washed this one and I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna grab my spray again. Okay, and it said, oh, I'm gonna spray it really well. Oh, no, I'm not gonna spray it. Ugh. Why can't I get anything right? I pulled these down. Um, I bought them for Easter. Easter events never really happened this year. So I've been saving them for a special occasion. Oh my gosh, looks like I already used them. I only have four left. Okay, looks like we have some 4th of July. Ooh, Halloween spiders. That is perfect. Doesn't love a good spider. Okay, so I'm just gonna shove these in. So once you put the batter into the muffin tin, my words are having a really hard time coming out. You let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes and then you throw it in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes? Where's the recipe? Nope, 16 to 20 minutes. Very precise here. I know I washed the spoon. Okay, so this should make 12 muffins. Oh my gosh, this batter looks delicious. I'm sure you can add cinnamon to this batter too if you wanted to, one, make your house smell amazing while they cook, and two, if you really like cinnamon. You know what, normally when I make recipes and it says yields 12, it normally yields me 10. But this recipe says it yields 12, and I think I got 14 out of this batter. And I am happy about that. So here they are. Before they bake, I'm gonna let them sit. I'm just so surprised I got 14 out of it. And, oh, spoiler alert, the batter, if you like pancake batter, this is like the next best thing. It's so, I wasn't gonna eat it, but then I thought, well, I guess I have to. Salmonella, I dare you. It is so good. I don't even like sour cream. <gasps> Ooh. The batter kind of tastes like cookie dough batter. Ooh, but it does have eggs in it. It kind of tastes like eggless cookie dough batter, but with eggs, so I don't suggest eating it. However, if you're tempted, I mean, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. No one's gonna stop me. So, tidied up again. I feel like we're making some progress here. So we got the egg cups, we boiled eggs, we made old fashioned donuts. Well, I guess that's it. Let's just whip up the energy balls. I have to go get the kids in a little bit, so I know that recipe like the back of my hand. There's no messing that recipe up, but if anyone were to, it would be me. Whoop. I always double this recipe. My kids eat these energy balls. Oh, where's my measuring cup? This is running on empty. Food review. That's good. Scale of one to ten. Ten. <laughs> Good. Two cups of oats. I forgot what I was saying about these, but my kids eat them. Most of the time, I don't even roll them into balls. I just let them eat them, eat it with a spoon, because that's how we roll around here. Two cups of oats, one cup of flaxseed. Again, I'm doubling the recipe. Also, if you're new here, this recipe is very forgiving, so you do not have to be precise in the measurements. Actually, the initial recipe that I have, I don't even really follow anymore. Uh-oh, couple tablespoons of chia seeds or half a cup. The more the merrier. Chia seeds are great for you. And then two thirds cup of coconut flakes. I do about a quarter cup for two batches or it might even say half a cup for one batch. I don't know, it's way too much. Two thirds cup agave nectar and then one cup of peanut butter. I just do it by the spoonful. I just drop in a few heaping spoonfuls and that's good enough. And then you whip it. You whip it good. Oh, when a problem comes along, you must whip it. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the recipe for you. Actually, I think it's right here. Okay, can you see that? Can you screenshot that? Remember it forever? 
delicious. I just reread the recipe and realized that it's two third cup coconut flakes per batch. There's no messing that recipe up. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. This just sweetens it up. This coconut is good for you. I get the um, unsweetened kind. And here it is, oops, all finished. You could roll it into balls if you wanna waste your time. <laughs> I typically do that if we're going on an outing or something, but uh, just chill it, it makes it easier before you roll them. And there's my tip. What, that, what did that take, like 30 seconds to throw that together? The kids love these in their lunch boxes. Oof. And we can take one more thing off of our list. Where are they? Energy balls. Or you can call them energy bites if you think balls is offensive. Here are the egg bites. I threw them in this container. I thought, oh, will it be big enough? Surely it will. It's definitely not. But my other containers are taken with like leftovers and I made brownies. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna have to settle with this. I'll make it work. Maybe I'll move containers. Anyway, don't they look good? They look good. Look how beautiful these look. The camera is not doing Mom, them justice. Time to ice them. Okay, you guys, I have washed so many dishes today. <laughs> so many dishes. Uh, but I do feel like my nail polish is gonna start chipping at any moment's notice. Also, I ran into Publix on my way home from picking up the kids and I got some more vanilla jello. So there's that. I also wore my apron like a dress inside of Publix. It was wonderful, no regrets. And I feel like next time I go grocery shopping, I will probably wear an apron. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Okay, so next up, are we're going to make... Oh, you know what? We didn't finish the old-fashioned sour cream donuts. And here's the dilemma. So I had Alex take them out of the oven, but they have to be hot for when we put the topping on, the icing, and my powdered sugar is out in the garage. So we'll do that in a minute. But next up, we're going to work on the... What, what is it called? They're called chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Super simple recipe. Oh, I forgot I need butter. So I had to go to the garage to get some more butter. I figured while I'm out there, I might as well get the powdered sugar. So now we have a decision to make. Do we make the topping right now? Oh, yes, wonderful. You don't need butter for the topping of the donuts. Oh, by the way, I totally ate one of the muffins. You know what? It doesn't taste like a donut. Tastes more like a cupcake, <laughs> if anything. And I ate it without the glaze, so I'm assuming with the glaze, it will definitely taste like a cupcake. All right, this is simple, so let's just finish this process and then move on. I have somehow misplaced my measuring cup again, so I'm just using a third cup. How much do I need? Okay, you need one and a half cups of powdered sugar, one and a half tablespoons of la creme, just a little splash of vanilla, ooh, of vanilla extract. I have to tell you, when we got home, every single one of my children was like, can we have one? Okay, you just whisk this all together. I may need to add a little bit of milk, just a touch. A little liquid goes a long way in terms of powdered sugar. This was not the best whisk to use. This is thick, but this is what we want. Well, I'm assuming, I don't know, I've never made it before, but once you put this on, a hot donut or muffin in our case it, it'll melt but it won't melt to a consistency where like you can't even see it like it's so thin you know what I mean I threw the muffins cupcakes whatever you want to call them at this point back into the oven just so they got a little warm and I'm just gonna just take each one and dip it in this mixture oh all right now this looks like a pretty good glaze i'm going to try to get a nice coat of it on here oh my gosh oh my gosh are you kidding me the food network is calling my name <laughs> but we want we're not supposed to eat these yet no not yet i ate two what I didn't know that. One, two, I... three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. You did eat two. Oh, <laughs> <Lena. laughs> well, I didn't. Oh, I... no, you're not supposed to know. I'm sorry. That's so funny. Were they good? They were really good, yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what did they taste like? Muffins or cupcakes? Like both. <laughs> Okay, so it turns out Avelina ate a couple of them <laughs> while I was bringing Eleanor to gymnastics, but guys, 
Look at these. Oh my, these look absolutely delicious. She requested that I keep some off, uh, keep some icing free so she can enjoy those. She's not a huge fan of icing. So that's what we're gonna do, but oh my heavens. It definitely satisfies my sweet tooth, I'll tell you that much. Well, for real, somebody call the Food Network food editor, magazine editor. Hire me right now. Look at this setup I have. <laughs> It's embarrassing the amount of effort that I put into this. I was like, ooh, the whisk, the bowl, the towel, the cutting. It doesn't matter. A rolls by any other name would look as good because these things are absolutely delicious. Where's my measuring cup? I just found it and washed it. Here it is. If there is one takeaway from this video, let it be this cookie recipe. Everyone who has ever tried it has absolutely loved it. We have some powdered sugar that spewed over from the donut topping. We're just gonna leave it in the bowl, it won't hurt. Oh crap, I almost forgot what to do. You need one cup of softened butter, three quarters cup of brown sugar. I mean, we're making a cookie. You can't expect this thing to be healthy. We could make healthy cookies, but would they be this delicious? I'm saying, nah. And then you whip this up. I just washed this and I'm really starting to love this apron. How often I have dried stuff off with it, including my hands. Might become an apron gal. Do you wear aprons? Let me know. You just whip that until it looks good, nice and fluffy. Well, look at me acting like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, did I say I was doubling the recipe? I did. You need a, a lot more butter. Yeah, that's a lot of butter. Also double up on the sugar. Okay, as if this doesn't look delicious enough, we're going to add the dry pudding mix to it. And this just keeps the cookie, the inside of the cookie so moist and chewy and oh my gosh so good and then you're going to need four eggs cracking them with one hand here I got the skills to pay the bills okay little scoundrels came in they smelled the sugar now we're going to carefully add <laughs> because my bowl is definitely gonna spill over but I've done this multiple times before so I know it can handle it four and a half cups of flour I think that's four, I may have done five. I don't know, I'm distracted. You know, house full of people, that tends to happen. Just flower shower, be careful. It's gonna go everywhere, it's it's okay. We have cleaning products, that's what they're here for. Two cut. ooh! Oh my gosh, anyone else chocolate chips remind them of like the holiday season? Oh, I cannot wait. Everything okay? And in it goes. I Again, I don't measure, I just do handfuls. I also don't like a ton of chocolate chips in my cookies, but this is a lot of cookies. Mmm, the holiday season. I'm so ready for it. Well, kind of. Mom, are you making cookies? Yep. I love cookies. You love cookies? What's happening? <laughs> mm, those look good, don't they? You can have a little bit of the dough. How is it? Yum. Don't wanna wake up, I might be dreaming. I might be dreaming You're stirring things up My heart is beating My heart is beating I won't let go I can't say no My heart is yours So I say here we go yet but I would estimate this to be about 
uh, 2,000 cookies. <laughs> <laughs> cookie dough balls. Um, I, for some reason, I cannot find my other cookie scoop. This one gives me such a pain in the neck. I, I don't know what it is. I cannot find my big, and it's smaller. Oh, I think it's a little smaller than my other one. Anyway, they look cute. They look all uniform. I, I'm going to take a second just to count them all. Okay, what's your estimate? Uh, it's like how many are in this jar kind of game. You know what I mean? 100 and seven 109 even i forgot <laughs> i just counted i just hit, i hit 100 around this area one two three four five six seven eight i'm gonna say 109 that's my that's my guess right here <laughs> how did i forget i literally just counted anyway cookies are always great to have in your freezer for just when you're one craving a sweet treat two it's family night movie night whatever night and you want some cookies Three, you have guests over, and oh my gosh, what? I had no idea. And you have cookies to feed them, you know what I mean? It's never a bad idea. Or, like I said earlier, when you're just having a day and you need to eat some cookie dough. It's there for you. It's ready. Yeah. Plus, your kids will love you. Oh, by the way, we have a couple of guests over right now, and they've been eating the muffins, cupcakes, whatever you want to call them. And I asked Alex, what do they taste like to you? And he said, good. <laughs> they taste good. He came in for a second. By the way... You throw the cookies like this in the oven. Oven. Don't do that. They'll, you'll have a cake. Well, if you want a cake, you go ahead and do that. But you throw them like this in the freezer. Then they get hard. Once they're hard, you can throw them in a Ziploc bag. And then they'll stay uh, separated, you know? Just like that. I'm throwing them in a bag. This is like a reusable bag. Perfect for this. And then I just throw it in my freezer just like that. Oh, isn't that the best looking bag you have ever seen? Okay, we've got one more and it's just my go-to meal, you guys know, but um, I like to cook it, a large sheet of it, and then store it away in little containers and eat it for lunch throughout the week because I feel like lunchtime, even lunchtime is chaotic. And uh, if I don't prepare something healthy, then I end up eating something not healthy. So there's that. So normally I do chicken sausage, but I don't have that. I haven't been grocery shopping in a while, but I do have a lot of kielbasa left over. I've got some carrots. I'm gonna cut up an onion, potatoes left over. Uh, if this isn't enough potatoes, which it probably is. I also have a sweet potato and then, what are these? Green beans, and then you just throw it on cheap pan. So I'm just gonna chop it all up. I've been pushing away everybody I love. I don't know what to do Need a sign from above I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close Won't you save, 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 save me Won't you save, 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 save me? I am out here alone Cause there's nobody left I need someone to talk to Get this pain on my chest All the bad things I've done and the people I've heard Wanna take that part of me And leave it in the dirt Won't you save, 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 save me Won't you save, 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 save me You save, 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 save me Oh, save me Save, save me Oh, I've been trapped in this darkness For far too long now Wanna tear down the curtains Let the sun shine in 
I've been seeking forgiveness Cause I know I was wrong Oh, I'm running out of time I have to stay strong Okay, I am just gonna throw all of the meat and veggies on this sheet pan, and it's a lot. Hopefully it will fit because the other sheet pan has the other bundle of cookies, and I don't think that one's quite set yet. Well, doesn't this just look beautiful? Oh goodness, my camera's dying. So, olive oil, you guys know the drill. Olive oil, salt, pepper, and then, ooh, we, let's get fancy, some garlic powder on this, yes. Where's the secret ingredient? All right, I can't find the secret ingredient, but it is poultry seasoning. Everybody, poultry seasoning. Then you give it a judge. Throw it in the oven at 400 or 425 for, and uh, until it's done, guys, 30 minutes with this much. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So here it is all finished, looking nice. I like when the sausage gets a little crispy on the ends. So I'm just gonna divvy it up into containers that I'll eat throughout the week. Tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Here is what we have working with. Lunches for all week. And these are pretty deep, so it's a really good sized portion. Delicious, nutritious, and I don't know another synonym. Easy? <laughs> okay, that is it. My kitchen is a disaster, but I hope you guys enjoyed all of the meal prep. I hope it gave you some inspiration to plan ahead this coming week, maybe a little bit. Did you enjoy, at least enjoy hanging out with me? I hope at the very least that happened. And if you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, also we'll make the cinnamon rolls in an upcoming freezer meal video because ultimately that's what I want to do with them is freeze them. Cause I don't want to eat a bunch of cinnamon rolls at once. I mean, I do, but like my thighs, you know? Okay, bye.